Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share a bunch of my holiday decorations in detail. I know it is January right now when I'm finally getting around to uploading these, but the good news for you is if you decide to shop any of these, they're all on sale. I'll post direct links to everything in the description box if you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned in this video. Here we just got a new foyer table. This I purchased from Home Goods. I really love it, it fits perfectly. We have a really long hallway slash foyer here, so bunch of pictures and other year-round items and then a few holiday areas so here I have this little cubby put some holiday stuff in that here is my jingle platter I just put some jingle bells around it pretty simple Here's another tiered tray or stand that I put a few different things on some more mugs this I made with a decal and some candles pine cones I love getting these from Michaels, they go on sale all the time. Then this, I thought was so funny. This I got from Five and Below, but it's from Christmas Vacation. It's a little moose head that you drink the eggnog out of. And the tray itself is from Hobby Lobby. Then over here is our console table or sofa table, whatever you guys prefer to call it. This is from Pottery Barn, this is the Parker line. So I finally have the whole living room Parker line. So this table, the end tables and the coffee table will actually purchase this for me as a housewarming slash Christmas gift. I'm very grateful for that. I love it. It just really pulls everything together. And I just love the Parker line. I think it's beautiful, very rustic. So it's perfect because it's not too feminine, not too masculine. It's very like neutral, unisex. So here we have a tray with my little signs. I love these little ceramic houses. They're from Target as well. They're just white, but I honestly think they're supposed to be painted, which would be really cute, especially for kids to paint like a gingerbread house or something. But I just like them white. I think they're really pretty. And then little vases. I just put some greenery and candy cane. This is from Home Goods. Actually, I think they both are. Yeah, they both are. But this looks like Ray Dunn. Just kind of goes with my whole obsession. <laughs> um, these lanterns or candle holders I'm obsessed with. They're perfect year round. They are also from Home Goods. And then the candles I purchased from Pottery Barn on sale. A bunch of other brands make these. They have them in white and off-white or cream. This is the off-white slash cream. But they, when they are on, flicker. Let's see if I can turn it on. I think that one needs a battery, of course. Well, it would have helped if I had batteries in them. <laughs> so I only had one set of batteries left. So I put it in this one here. I gotta get batteries for this guy. But look how real that looks. It seriously looks like a flame because it moves. The color I really like. It looks so real. But so much safer than using a real flame, obviously. It seriously looks real. I have a bunch of them. And they also have the option to use a remote. So you can literally have them all hooked up and no matter where they are, just use your remote to turn them off and on. Such a brilliant idea. They're an investment because obviously they're not cheap up front, but they last you literally forever. They're real wax and all you have to pay for is the batteries. So however long your battery lasts is how often you have to change it, obviously, depending on how much you use them. Also, I apologize for the noise in the background. Will is cutting wood for our pantry. <laughs> He's finishing the shelves. Speak of the devil. This is the centerpiece that I made for my coffee table. So again, one of those trays from Home Goods, and then this is all from Michaels. So it was just like one giant floral piece that I pulled apart and then arranged around the candle here. In the living room by the fireplace, we still have to finish the fireplace, which you can see here. It still needs to be finished down there, but. We have this magnolia basket and these piles of wood here. And then I put a magnolia vase here with, this is actually also magnolia um, faux branches, but you can obviously get those like anywhere, any craft store. And then this basket, which I really liked is, it was actually on clearance at TJ's or Marshall's. I can't remember. That's where I get like all my trays and baskets though. And then here is our mantle, which we just finished. These stockings are from Target, and then these little houses are a mix between Target and Home Goods, but they look just like the ones from Pottery Barn. 
which I was obsessed with, but I could not find. They didn't have them in my store or someone bought them all. I don't know. <laughs> I was not able to get my hands on the Pottery Barn ones and they're not available on their website. So I was really bummed about that, but I found these and they're close enough. And some just more like greenery to fill in. Some butt lights on the inside of them. And then also the string light behind them. And then as far as the built-ins, this is how I have them decorated for now. It's also something that I change up a lot. Sorry, the sun is like glaring right at you guys. But I just have like year-round stuff mixed in with a few holiday items. My little hamster. So I also put a couple of those houses over here on this end table. Here's the other table that I have. This is from World Market. I didn't really do any holiday decor to it. And then this guy, I also had already shown you, but this is the other year round redone items. But this is one of my favorites to decorate. I mentioned this before. This shelf or cubby is from Hobby Lobby and I change it all the time. I love the color of the wood too, really pretty. But this is how, oh no, what happened to this one? There we go. Uh, this is how I've had it set up for a couple weeks now for December slash Christmas. And yes, it is supposed to be hanging. <laughs> it's going to go up on this wall here, but we just have not hung it yet, so. It's actually on our to-do list to do today. Here is how we decorated our tree this year. We went with white lights. I'm always torn if I like white or the multicolored lights better. What do you guys normally do? Every year I kind of switch back and forth, but this year we went with the white. And here's a bunch of the ornaments. Honestly, most of them are from the dollar store or handmade like this guy I made. I did a bunch of DIY videos last year so I will link to that in the description box below if you guys are interested or want to know more about my ornaments and how to make them yourself or where to bargain shop. I also did ribbon this year. It's the first year I've done it and it looks a little janky. So <laughs> we also did not plan on putting our tree here, but because we were doing so much construction type stuff in the house, it kind of had to go here, but it worked out. Fits pretty well. Um, this tree collar I got this year from Home Goods. I think it's really cute. It's like super easy to change out the bow. If I got tired of the bow, I could put a different one or just take it off. The star is new too, I actually got that from TJ's, more rustic industrial and then i also put this up it's just a wooden banner it's like the cutout of stars and i got this from the target dollar section but i thought that was cute also like rustic would be cute for fourth of july too so that's everything for the holiday decorations I wanted to show you guys today. I showed you a bunch in last week's video. Be sure to check that out if you want to know more and see the rest of the house. Today, my mom, my sister, my niece and I are going to all work together to bake for all of our friends. We do this every year. It's been basically a tradition since as long as I can remember. Everyone always raves over my mom's pumpkin rolls. So this year we're all going to help her bake them. And I wanted to share the recipe with you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in the video, but I'm also going to post step-by-step -step instructions in the description box. That way it's easier to follow if you guys would like to make these as well. They're so good. It's something I look forward to eating as a dessert every year between September and December. It's the perfect dessert to have on hand. It's also great to take over for someone hosting a dinner, etc. So pumpkin rolls are always a holiday tradition for us. I would love to know what type of traditions you guys do whether it's food related or anything else in general. So comment that down below.
So that's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are still subscribed to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of vlog style videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.